folks. In this is another video in number theory. We're still in this module, Divisibility Theory and the Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. We're going to tackle now theorem number two. So this is right after theorem number one. Still, we're going to name this theorem two because we're going to use this in future videos. And this theorem two is actually transitivity or the transitive property. So let's say that formally. Um, transitive property in the divisibility theory, okay? So let A, B, and C be integers. Then if A divides B and B divides C, then A divides C. So just like in our transitivity property, um, if A is B and B is C, therefore A is C. So somehow the same concept that if A is a factor of B and B is a factor of C, therefore A is a factor of C. So let's give a proof for that. Okay, so change our color to red. So for the proof. So again, we're going to make use of that concept that if A divides C, so say you have um, some if X divides Y, so we say that Y is equal to some is equal to um, X times some certain, for example, some certain J. Okay, this certain J multiplied by X will give us Y. So we're going to make use of that concept again. So if A, since A divides B and B divides C, so let's, let's start with that. Since A divides B and B divides C, then there exists, let's put the word then, then there exists, um, we're going to name the integers M and N. So there are certain M and N in the integers okay, such that when we multiply A by M, it's going to give us B, okay? A times M is B. And C, if we were going to multiply B by N, um, B times N is going to give us C, okay? So again, since A is a factor of B, this A multiplied by a certain number will be give, will give us B. Um, since B is a factor of C, B times a certain number will give us C, okay? So what we're going to do then is by substitution, Okay, we're going to substitute the value of B here. Since we say that B is equal to AM and C is equal to BN, we're going to substitute the value of B from here to the, to the B here. So we have C is equal to, B is equal to AM. Or let's put it down below so that it will be clearer. Okay, so since B is equal to AM, so we say that um, C, or, or rather, let's put it here. Okay, so C is equal to AM times N. Okay, so where did this AM came from? So this came from the value of B and B we substitute it there. Now, by associativity, associativity um, technically associative property of multiplication here, by associativity, generally, by associativity, what we're going to do, associativity, we're going to change the grouping here. So we have C is equal to A times M N. Okay, so we also have C is equal to A times the quantity of M N. We also need to recall our closure property of multiplication since we know that the integer Z are closed under multiplication. Okay, so by the closure property of multiplication, let's have that by, by the closure Closure property of multiplication. Closure property. Of multiplication. Of multiplication. Um, yeah, let's make make use of the word. Multiplication. Okay, so we say since m is in the integers and n is in the integers, so therefore their product is also in the integers by closure laws. So we ha we say that mn, and we're going to name this mn, let's say we're going to name this a certain to be q, okay? And we say that this q is part of the integers, okay? So this this product, let we say that we're going to simplify it to name it q, and this is part of the integers. So hence we have, hence 
we have C is equal to AQ. That is, that is, A is a factor of C. And that's the end of proof. Oops. Okay, so that's it. So again, let's run through again the this theorem. So the theorem says, this is again the relativity theorem. Okay, um, one of the building blocks or building axioms in mathematics. So we say that let a, b, and c to be integers. Then if a divides b and b divides c, therefore we say by transitivity that a divides c. So let's give a proof of this. And we have it. We have. So since um, since a divides b and b divides c, so there are certain there are there exists some m and n in the integer such that if we're going to multiply this a by m, it will be giving us b. And if we're going to multiply this certain n to b, it will give us c. So by substitution, we're going to substitute this value of b to this value b of b here in the as a factor of c. So we have c is equal to a m times n. By associativity, we say that c is equal to a times m n. So by the closure property of multiplication, since m and n are integers, therefore their product is still part of the integers. So therefore, we say that m n is equal to q. Hence, c is equal to a q. Okay. So this q is from the m n, and therefore, since we have this in the form of of like something like this okay so therefore we can say that a is a factor of c by transitivity and the theorem holds okay so i hope you got that theorem thank you very much for watching this is the perfect time to end the video now and don't forget to like and subscribe okay see ya bye bye